What's going on? I'm Reese Ratliff. I'm Lexi Bradford. And we're both artists, producers, and songwriters in Adam's private mentorship group, the Billboard 500 Club. You're here on the Music Industry Contact YouTube channel where we do in-depth breakdowns of hit songs. In today's video, we will be analyzing Scream by Dreamcatcher. And if you didn't know already, we cannot monetize on this channel, so our Patreon Golden Year community means the world to us. If you already support our Patreon, we want to say thank you so much. And we highly suggest that you pledge to join so that you can also help us take some polls to decide on what song to break down next. And you'll also get early access to videos. So click the link in the description below and join us there. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go back to the beginning. I, I don't love know. If, those. I don't know. If, oh, I was gonna say I don't know if these bird sounds are in the actual track or if it's just the music video, but I like those. <laughs> what cool. were you gonna say? I love the tribal drums. I love the way they build. Oh, this the is a cool track. That whole first verse and pretty, their harmonies. Really cool. I definitely love these harmonies. And okay, let's take a look at what they're doing. Some like metallic. Yeah, what was that noise right there? It almost sounded like a like sewer grate rolling around or something. Mm. Like a low metallic sound of some sort. Interesting. It spins around too. Oh, they either like handed or and then to start it, they're, or something. Yeah, and then to start it, they got those drums like boom, boom. And she starts right on it. It's so pretty. Mm. Power of three there. What'd you say? Power of three with the da da mm -hmm. da 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 da. Well, and they changed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That was cool. They added one hit before it came back in. Da, da, da. <laughs> Oh, these vocals are so pretty. I like how they ascend and like, da, 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 da. and then they do that really pretty lick at the end. Yeah, I like love a that run. guitar riff. Oof, yeah. Mm. They had a delay on that mm -hmm. on that vocal and oh yes, this guitar. We're on the floor here, so cool. Ooh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. What were we gonna say? I was saying they go to that four on the floor, just start really driving it. Yeah. And uh, it's a cool progression too. They go from the six chord, that minor, up to the one, and then I believe four to five. Mm. So it starts out in that you know darker feel, and then kind of really lifts towards the end. Mm. Super cool. I like how this part they added a lot of harmonies and stacks like now now the stacks are coming in at the beginning they were just using like one vocal and a delay on the end they had some kind of like 
like in the back. I don't know if it's a vocal pad or if it's just a regular pad, but that was a really pretty texture that they added. <laughs> That like distorted synth coming in too. Yeah. Right it. Oh, really that. pretty. Let's listen again. Up the octave here. Yeah. Ooh. Woo. Yeah. Pretty. Super cool. They continue that. Uh, it sounds like it's on a on a guitar now, but they continue that up the next octave. Pretty. Super cool. Oh, in a sub too. In a sub too. Mm. Yeah, and this section's interesting. It sounds like they're using low harmonies on this, whereas before they had that kind of three-part harmony and one high, but now they're just using a low harmony and a low octave. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that was a pretty transition. They used that vocal to transition into it. Oof. And what did they have going under it? Like a riser or something? Yeah. Melodic oh, and white noise. Oh, that was a fun little. Yeah. <laughs> Another white noise I love that scream that they have in the background. Oh, that is so sick. That's super cool. Yeah. I love the way they build, build, oh, sorry, what? I was saying I love the way they build tension through this whole section. Just yeah. different drum grooves and um, different risers and, and textures coming in. Yeah, I really like how they build the drums. Oh, Whoa! This chorus is crazy! That tension point in the middle there is crazy. I heard some, um, there was like a hit only in my left ear. But I didn't hear one in my right after it. I don't know, I need to listen to it. Yeah, they definitely These drums too are panning back and forth. And forth. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, certain hits only in certain. That's to really feel interesting. Like a drum line. That's I really, really like cool. that. And uh, they're also using an altar boy under these vocals. I like to say that the altar boy sounds like a monster, and this is very fitting because they're talking about the devil. So it's very fitting that it sounds like a monster underneath their pretty high melody. So I really like. Oh, nice little power of three right there. Um, they all In the this. structure of the melody as well. The da, 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 da. Da. Yeah. Having those three notes highlighted three times. Smart. Just additional layer Super of catchy. power of three. Wow. They did something in this transition that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that vocal pad. Oh. Super interesting too in that transition how they have hit on the first four chords, but not when they resolve it to scream. Yeah, that's cool how they pull it out. 
Yeah. Good use of tension and release. This song makes me want to dance. Please let a one to scream. Oh wow, this song is really cool. This is a cool song. Oh, okay, let's go back. They're using a lot of power of threes here and the melodies and lyrics. They repeat that scream a lot, but it's cool how they move up. And it also sounds like, it sounds like very haunting. It doesn't really sound like one of the girls. It sounds like literally like in the scream movie when they're like <laughs> about to attack them and they're like, oh. <laughs> kind of like a classical sound. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this transition is super cool. I really like how they pull everything out and they have that little... <laughs> what else did they do? Oh, and then they had another... Oh. Oh. Sounds like there's a male echo on that too. It may be Alter Boy, but it sounds like it's just like a chant. Yeah, type it's very there. interesting. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. That's super cool. I also really like, yeah, I think it is Alter Boy. But I can't tell if it's a guy or if it's Alter Boy. But I also really like how the drums in this song tend to hit with the lyrics and the melody, the vocals. It like just emphasizes it so much. Like, bum, 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 da, 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 da. It's really nice. The little transitions in between, too, like, da, 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 da. They're all different, but yeah. they all guide back into those main hits and just build the anticipation every time. Oh, so cool. All right, let's listen again. Oh. What was that little? Yeah, like a. Oh, oh. oh. And you heard that like Ooh. interesting. It sounds like wind. Like that's what the wind kind of sounds like when you're just outside in the forest or something. <laughs> this is like a very eerie song. Subtle textures. Yeah. Coming together in a really, really cool way. I literally feel like I'm in a scary movie when I listen to this song. <laughs> Scream. They did good on their oh. Yeah, so and they then right picked back up, up the, to that melody. Mm hmm And they picked up the they used a different drum pattern or something. Mm -hmm. They added some things in the percussion. So ta 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 kick ta 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 and then a kick layered with another like subby like little bit more air pushed out mm. on another layer sounded like it had a little bit of verb around it and just another layer in that kick the second Ooh. time to build it up. Okay, let's. I get. Oh, so same kind of transition out of that with that riser and vocal melody in the back. Um, yeah, these are beautiful harmonies.
If you want to learn more about harmonies, actually, on the billboard500.com, there's a vocal harmony course that you can take that'll help you arrange your harmonies and teach you more about harmonies using different harmonies. So it's not just, you know, the three and the five. They, they'll teach you some cool things. I highly suggest checking it out. But these are really Oh, and that delay, delay is yeah. so nice. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. It kind of sounds like it's panning to the right a little bit. I feel like I'm sounds moving like this way. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Panning in the guitars, too. The guitars, too. The guitars are definitely moving. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's brow motion or if they're just automating the pan, but mm. it's really, really interesting just how it kind of swirls around. Brow motion is a plugin that you can get that will make your sound kind of move around your headphones. What is that called again? Spatial audio? Yeah. Um, I mean, I know there's now like Atmos and mm -hmm. like full spatial, but with that one, it's throughout the panning spectrum. Um, and it, you can make stuff spin, you can make it like warp around and I think it's from waves. It's a super cool really plugin. Cool. Ooh, okay. So they're building their harmonies throughout this line. They start with the low, then add the next mid and then the really high one. These harmonies are so pretty. And I, and they brought back that little hit. Mm -hmm. like with some like feels like it's underwater Long verbs, yeah. <laughs> Is that Alter Boy new? What'd you say? Is that Alter Boy more brought out? It seems more present in this one, right? And they carried the uh, the groove all the way through this time, mm -hmm. through that transition, right? A little bit of a shorter scream, too. Just a quick moment there. I felt like it was long. Wait, it was shorter? I thought so. Oh. A lot of oh, it gets cut. It cut it yeah. Yeah, it gets cut off, but it like it has a fades. verb tail though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It like fades out with that reverb tail, so you still feel it's there, but it's you're right. But it got cut off shorter. And it feels like they might have dialed up the formant on it actually on that mm, alter boy because before it sounded it like more of like a filtered low and now yeah. it sounds more like Present. sharp yeah um so i'm not sure exactly what it is but it almost sounds like they put either a high pass or a low pass. I think it would be a low pass automation on that verb tail to kind of make it like rattle out. And the way that it moves space in headphones is really, really interesting. Mm. That's wild. I really like how they started the bridge before the chorus ends. Mm -hmm. That was super interesting. It's like you don't really know if it's going into a bridge or if this is a different kind of post chorus, but that was a really cool trick. All these little like, like, yeah. oh, so cool how they did that. Yeah, it's just very subtle textures in the back to just give it that little extra.
Mm-hmm. And I think they have a sub with an LFO layered with that verb tail and the two of them together, just really, really cool texture. All right, let's go. Siren coming down. Also, all oh, the harmonies. Yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. What did you, oh wait, what did you say? Oh, I said there was like a siren that came down. Mm, yeah. Oh. Yeah. The subtle, the subtle things they added in the background. It kind of, it kind of sounds like glass is shattering mm -hmm. in that first part. Super cool. Oh. oh my gosh i love this okay let's go back because that was a lot to unpack um <laughs> whoa this is crazy this is super cool all right the wind sounds again yeah i really like that yeah. and then and also too they're panning though so it's like again the drums are hitting along with that no more no more no more mm -hmm. and then adam talks a lot about powers of threes so within this melody they added powers of threes lyrically and melodically but then they did a two by two so they only do that melody twice and then they switch to a different melody which they do i believe two maybe three times at the end and believe me Oh, this transition is so sick. And they also added those low harmonies to her more rap. Building those drums. Drums. And that riser too, like... I love how they filter out the drums for that last roll too. Yeah. Um, Super cool tone. And yeah, structurally, I think it would be... A, A, B, B, C, D. Right. Where the D line is that uh, I just want to make you scream. It goes back to, yeah. Or, Wait. Please, I don't want to scream. Wait. Which one is it? Did they change it? They did. They changed it? Wait. I don't know if they just want to make you scream. Oh my gosh! So the whole other time they were saying, "Please don't make me scream." Please, I don't want to. Please, scream. I don't want to scream. And then they changed it to, "I just want to make, make you scream." <gasps> what? I want to look up these lyrics in English. <laughs> I'm so curious about what they're talking about right now. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. That's a cool flip. And I like the little woo. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna make you scream. Oh. That little, oh. Yeah, that's, that's so, so cool. fun. And then they pull everything out, and then they also add that more present forward. I just wanna make you. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so sick. All the impact, oh. all the textures in the percussion. Oh. so pretty but did you hear that altar boy it was only the altar boy when the other times it was the vocal melody mm -hmm. super cool 
it's all the subtle changes that really just make every section completely different from the rest of the song. <laughs> this is a super cool song. All right, I want to listen to this ending. <laughs> That little <gasps> at the end, <gasps> at the end too. That's so cool. I think it goes. I think it goes. In the background. Mm -hmm. Right there. <laughs> Texture. whoa this is a cool song all right well before we give you final thoughts just wanted to say thank you so much for checking out this video this has been a very cool song to break down and really appreciate you tuning in um if you liked it please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more so any final thoughts what did you like dislike oh this is a cool song I really, like I said, I love how they made me feel like I was in a scary movie. I love the screams that they added. Their harmonies were incredible. And I liked how they built their harmonies. They weren't just all three parts all the time. Yeah, honestly, those subtleties in the back of all of the different textures of sounds made this song really come to life for me. Like I felt like I was outside at night, walking by myself, and I just hear the wind going through both of my ears and different sounds, and yeah, it just was really cool how they made, out of this production, they made they made this song really come to life for me. Yeah, I would say for me, it would be the mix. Mm -hmm. In, you know, how they created that space and how they made sure that, you know, everything within the whole track was cohesive, but also poked out and played the role that it needed to. And uh, yeah, just really solid mix, really cool production and all the subtle changes really brought it to life. Like you said, I would love to look at lyrics and read a little bit more about what they're saying. Right, but, uh, I'm curious now. <laughs> really, really cool track. Super cool. Was there anything you would have added or something you didn't like? I don't think so. Like I think they always kept intrigue and my ear was satiated through pretty much the entire track so yeah. i don't know if i would uh add anything else in the mix me too i mean i don't really know what more you could add to this i feel like they <laughs> filled the space very well but they didn't they didn't go overboard with it i really like this song <laughs> really cool all right well if you're a musician and you're looking for a group of artists and collaborators to work with, I highly suggest checking out the Billboard 500 Club. And we got over 70 mentors who come in and help us out. And honestly, I wouldn't wait too long because there's a limited capacity. And we've made so many amazing friends through this. We also have writing retreats all over the world. Um, Costa Rica, LA, Miami, Nashville. We got collaborators all over the world, everywhere from Canada to the US, Amsterdam, Vietnam, South Africa. We're all over the place. So I highly suggest you check it out if you're looking for um, looking to level up in your career. Once again, my name is Reese Ratliff. Um, I have some music out across all platforms. My last record, Compass, if you would like to check that out. Yeah, check it out. It's super cool. I love that one. And my name is Lexi Bradford, and I also have new music out. Um, my latest single is called Naked Truth and would love for you to also check out the music video on YouTube. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.